Now, depending on how much time you've spent on the internet, you may be familiar with a famous news story that came out in April of 2019. There was wide speculation from the media as basically every news outlet picked up on it immediately. Joe Rogan haphazardly talked about it, Daily Dose of Internet covered it, and even individual analysis videos dedicated to the subject have spoken about this particular incident. To get you fully caught up to speed, this all begins in April of 2019 when a fisherman in Ingoya, Norway, pardon me if I say anything wrong in this video, spotted a beluga whale being remarkably friendly and noticeably wearing a harness. Now, footage of this individual incident shows how clearly domesticated this whale was as it repeatedly come up to the boat until the fisherman finally organized to remove the harness of the beluga. After closer inspection, the harness revealed a sort of camera mount, a buckle that read Equipment St. Petersburg, as well as a sharp hooked object. However, in the video, I'm not sure how this plays into how they recovered it, because looking at the footage, I couldn't see how this was attached in any way. Now, this immediately prompted speculation as to who and what this whale was being trained for, with the most cited theory being that it was used by the Russian military, and thus it was nicknamed the Russian spy whale. This was due to the buckle's reference to St. Petersburg. Russia. However, not much is known for certain about the origin of this whale, and to quote an article from Time, the find alarmed Norwegian officials and led to speculation that the mammal may have been trained to spy for Russia. There is great reason to believe the whale was being used by the Russian Navy. Martin Niu from the Norwegian Institute of Marine Research told the Norwegian broadcaster at NRT. There is not yet conclusive evidence about where the whale is from, but that explanation for the whale's origin is entirely plausible," said Gervais Phillips, a history lecturer who studies military use of animals at Manchester Metropolitan University. Now, what made the situation incredibly interesting is the fact that no marine researchers were known for this type of harness, and no organization would claim ownership for this individual beluga whale. The Russian government vehemently denied any involvement with training marine animals. This was despite in 2016 when the Russian Defense Ministry had issued an advertisement for three male and two female bottlenose dolphins. Now, one of the main criticisms for the Russian Navy having control over this beluga whale was the fact that the individual buckle was written in Latin slash English typeface. And while I understand this point of view, as you start to narrow down the actual possibilities here, it definitely makes the Russian Navy the most likely candidate. Alternative theories have led to the speculation that this beluga could have been involved with the infamous whale jail, where belugas were found to have been sold off to Chinese tourist attractions. However, this would not explain how it ended up on the opposite side of Russia, and also doesn't seem to line up with the timing, given the fact that the whale jail didn't have a full intervention until November of 2019, six months after this beluga was spotted. Another alternative theory that has gained some traction in the media was that this was some sort of therapy whale for children, where some news outlets pointed to the fact that this harness could have been used to drag boats with children on board. However, this theory falls apart when they individually reached out to the organization and they mentioned they were never missing a single whale. As we go forward, I want you to pay attention to this individual material used for the harness as it sort of resembles this pilot seatbelt material. And furthermore, what points to the Russian government even more is the fact that no company could be tied to this individual buckle. Some individuals digitized the logo and attempted to reverse image search it, once again nothing. While it's not necessarily a secret that various governments, including Russia and the United States, have trained animals like sea lions, seals, and dolphins for a variety of reasons, the origin of this particular beluga whale was a mystery as nobody know who trained it and what it was being trained for, and given the fact that it was likely domesticated, there was some concern with how to proceed. Later sightings of the whale made it famous in the local Norwegian area, as a number of more viral videos would continue to pop up with the whale who had been newly nicknamed Havaldmir. In my personal opinion, these run-ins with Havaldmir give a crystal clear idea as to what he was actually being trained for. Just a month after Havaldmir was initially freed from his harness, here is a video of him retrieving an Instagram user's phone after someone accidentally dropped it inside the water. Similarly, a video in September would show the whale tailing a kayaker until he eventually steals his GoPro only to retrieve it and bring it right back. I would show you this video under fair use, but this money grubbing company decided that any percent of this video should be claimed. Around September to November of the same year, another video would pop up showing Havaldmir playing fetch with a rugby ball.
While the footage is incredibly wholesome and fun to watch, I must admit the reality of what you're looking at is a highly social species who's been removed from its family. And while Havaldmir has learned to find food for himself, people have been warned to be cautious if he approaches them as a result of his inclination to approach boats and he ended up getting injured in September of 2019 from propellers. As a result, there's been an edict issued requesting people to not feed him, and subsequently, he seems to have left Hammerfall Harbor. Now, if there's something that is apparent with all of the run-ins with Havaldmir, it is that he seems to be particularly trained in retrieving objects. And given the camera attached to the harness, that might solve the first part of this mystery. Perhaps the handlers would drop something in the ocean for him to retrieve, and thereafter, the camera footage being fed up would give a visual for humans looking to investigate parts of the seafloor, and likely Havaldmir could play some role in recovering lost objects during military training exercises as well as recovery missions. Now take a look at this video from RT.com from a Russian government-funded publication. I want you to notice the exact same type of harness being used on this seal, and this video even states that it took place in Murmansk, which just so happens to be the closest naval base for Russia right near where this whale was found. So now the final part of this mystery is locating exactly where these whales are being trained, and I have managed to locate it on Google Earth. And to give credit where credit is due, H.I. Sutton, who's done coverage on this story in the past, seems to be the first person who did locate these individual bases. However, I want to go into a bit more detail as I found something incredibly interesting as well. The largest training location and oldest is north of Murmansk and just south of Gorbachev Ryuchki. This is an incredibly isolated and rural area that is only about 290 miles from where the whale was located. What's particularly interesting about this location is that the settlement right next to it was actually abandoned in 2009 due to depopulation, and in 2010, that's when these whale pins start popping up right at this location and have continued to grow over the years. Now, in these various pins, you can see something clearly large and white swimming inside of these and over the various years of photography, it becomes apparent that whatever is living in these pens is incredibly large. Just for scale here, just know the average beluga whale can grow to be about 14 feet long. And just taking a moment to mess around with the scale function on Google Earth, this one appears to be around 11 feet long. However, you have to know that the animal probably isn't laying exactly flat on the surface. So when it comes to the origin of Havaldmir, this would be my best guess, as this particular location had training going on as far back as 2010. And while I will note there are some smaller locations with pens, I will leave Sutton's article linked if you want to check this out on Google Earth for yourself. On a final note, I hope that whale is able to live a happy and normal life, and perhaps he'll find a new family. This is Barely Sociable. Have a good night.